Woo. All right, a different night. Too bright of a light. I'm still on these screens. It's the 23rd, 24th. Just finished this little day of what we call work. Oh, you know what? Hold on. No, sorry. We want to add the headphones. Guys. Hold on. Try to do this whole device as well, you Bluetooth. There you go. This is me in real time messing up. Let's see. Are they connecting? I probably got to be connected over there. Over to the phone. Try again. I recorded myself messing up. Connected. I had to disconnect it from the other phone. From the phone. So anyway, today, dub style right now. It's a Cymax. Trying to see Soundwave Mix Session 1.1. C Y. Matix. C Y M A T I X. How about I rewind that a little bit, just so I can get into it. This is the rant part three, or is it four? Something deep in the mind for sure, and I was sitting here wondering what's going on, you're going off in this freaking political lore. It's like what they're doing is trying to take more, and it's trying to get through everybody else's door. They want to, yo, it's old man rap style, you know? <laughs> I should have done a song. But anyway, maybe I will later. After this one. Yeah, it's still got 20 minutes. I don't know what the sound is like, but I figured it'd be better through the headphones and trying to catch it on the microphone on the computer. Oh, it'd be cool if I could mix it on different tracks. Did I do something like that? Yeah, maybe. Anyway. Uh, today, I got Vex reading this article from a publication that I'm not really sure about. Well, I'm kind of sure about They're a conservative vet, actually an anti-progressive. From this article, the title was The Santos and Prohibition Black AP Course Should Be Just the Start. Huh. Let's not learn some stuff that might hurt our or, you know, hurt our pride to learn that, yes, there was systematic injustice. There was, you know there was. It, 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 we can do better, humans. Come on. Be thoughtful. Incorporate. You're incorporating stuff, but you're not willing to include stuff. Whatever. What does that mean? So I had saved this one paragraph. Specifically, what did it, what did it say? I'm not even conscious. That one? Yeah. Remember, this is a, this is a quote from this article. Who is this person? Quinn Hillier. And today, so it was yesterday at 3.37 p.m., so today's the 24th, Washington Examiner. Remember, this is for a course in which high school students, minors, can earn college credit. Nobody in good conscience could be using school systems to foist any content or viewpoint specific political activism on minor children, much less nostrums so radical, so antithetical to most American parents' outlooks, and without even the slightest attempt to provide opposing viewpoints or content. Now, at that point, I was like, the whole curriculum now has been that specific opposing viewpoint and context. If you're going to ignore the whole history of the world and don't be compressed it, don't start it. I said the three rulers, the each ruler is, a, you know, 12,000 years. We'll go back 30,000 years instead of just the 6,000 years that the Greeks are, have been dominant or whatever, or taken over the dominance, or taken over the information that they've used. They just renamed everything. Everything that has a Greek name already had a Tamarai and or Tanahisen or other name before that too. But we should include the study of that stuff stuff as well into our history instead of being like these people. Antithetical to most American parents' outlook, really? 
most American parents don't want you to learn anything new. They don't want their kids to learn new stuff. That's old stuff that will help them make new stuff. Just ignore the past. That's what, that's what you want to do. Just ignore the past because you don't want liability. This is an education that this person wrote. It's radical ideological indoctrination of impressionable children without fully adult brain development, which is why they need the right fuel. <laughs> they need the right fuel, food, which is correct information. Just because you have this person who wrote this has a point and the sentence in them. Oh, man. That, oh, that was just... Still a broader point bears considering one divorce from the specific content of this version of quote unquote black studies. It involves a more sweeping concern when it suggests a comprehensive problem in which the entire U.S. educational system has forgotten the basics of its function and purpose. And they decide that the primary and secondary education should be focused on foundational knowledge on how-to skills, and on the development of critical thinking abilities, which is completely antithetical to you telling them that they shouldn't learn certain things. These people talk themselves in circles, like, how could you... I mean, you just don't want to learn about black people? You don't want to learn about anything other than the way it is? And if it's different from... I mean, you have never thought that... The people who criticize things are actually doing quality control and trying to freaking elevate it. We're trying to improve it. We're the real patriots. You guys who want to go backwards, who does that make you? Savage. You want to be savages instead of wanting to freaking make this uh, better for everybody and everything, for life in the omniverse, not just in your little area. You want life good in your area, but screw it up for everybody else's area? How is that good? And then complain when they come to your area after you screwed over their area, talking to all the people who are like, where are these Central Americans? And we fucking took over their land to make cocaine and oranges and bananas where people were living. But anyway, I'm going off target, <laughs> off target, off a of tangent. So slightly. But this is just wild, man. I still can't believe they. And, and it was so weird that you used weird words to, or he used some weird words about voice and nostrum so radical and antithetical. Why would you use big, <laughs> big words to say, let's make the people stupid? <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's so strange. Let's deny information. I mean, yes. If it was hard, if stuff is hard, we talk about queer people are people. They don't, they don't exist. <laughs> we should just, <clears throat> just ignore people that like they don't exist instead of doing that and making it harder for everybody. Why don't we just be like, um, so what's really going on? And who's the groomer here anyway? You could complain that gay people are the groomers. Matt Gates is, y'all have been lusting after little 16 year old girls since forever. Marrying your cousins and stuff too? I mean, who are you calling the groomer? This is weird. Instead, make the enemy black studies. We're being anti to the most American parents' viewpoints and outlooks. It's so wild. There's no reason for AP courses to avoid making students repeat high level building blocks. Now there are 38 different AP courses. Wow, how many college courses are there? Are there more than 38? I wonder. Are there more than 38 disciplines within academia? If they're not, then why? <laughs> and there are. We already know that. So, oh wow, that's a problem. But there's too many AP courses. And the problem with it, okay, I didn't find it. Let me see the issue I found this. Quote, I'm reading again. They range in far more subjective disciplines such as comparative government and politics or human geography that, quote, examines patterns of human population migration and land use, quote. 
Why should high school students receive college credit for such things without studying them in a collegiate context with expert professors surrounded by equally advanced fellow students in what is supposed to be a milieu of open inquiry that universities, not high schools, are designed to foster? And that not high schools was actually part of this. I'm just, why can't high schools be part of the... Why shouldn't high school students examine patterns of human population, migration, and land use? Just because they're not in college? So it's just the, the uh, meritorious thing. Once you can, uh, once you display the ability to our liking that you can actually handle this information, we'll let you get it later. You'll get it later. Why do it now? Dumb them down and then claim they don't have the freaking same uh, qualifications because they didn't get the information back when they could have used it to make their lives better, to make critical thinking. Hey, wait, if you learn this stuff that you learned in college when you were a kid, how much more advanced do you think you'd be when you got to college? Emotionally as well, because the stuff that you learn, that's the, that's the thing. These people act like we don't have feelings, like, you know, what happened to our families and our lives and our history in this country, just just shove it under the rug and forget about it. Like, like it's not in our DNA. Like, we don't think about getting lynched all the time. Like, we don't know if the next time a police officer stops us, there's going to be four more cars and the other guy's going to shoot because my son in the back or on the other side or somebody outside says, you got a gun, and I'm just dead or whatever. Or I advocate for myself as a human being with rights, and I'm being aggressive. <laughs> when I'm asking, you know, oh, like the, the gentleman, oh, it's so freaking anglifying. Got into a car and was disoriented and they fucking tased him to death? Fucking sheriff, cell, you know, slave patrol. But if it was a white person, they'd be in an ambulance. Stat, give me some ice. Just like the black people with the uh, open carry. White guys walk around open carry. Cops walks up to him, saunters up to him. Hey guys, just checking in. They got they walk away free, clean like Kyle right now. They walk away fucking free and clear and easy. But the, the black man by himself walking, with, freeze! Throw it out! Pull it out! Get it on the ground! We got we got a movie with a gun! Surrounded. Had to get on the ground or die. Houses being sold. Take out all the black paraphernalia, put in some white stuff, and this shit goes up a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars. It's worth more when it's white? Oh, okay. Doesn't have anything to do with the federal housing loans and discrimination and freaking zip codes being the basis for credit? No. That had nothing to do with it. You had covenants that people couldn't even, black people couldn't buy houses in certain places in the good zip code. Where they got the four point or the two point uh, interest? No, you have to go over there and pay extra, and pay a higher interest, and pay all the costs involved with uh, being polluted, uh, environmental discrimination, and planning and urban development or underdevelopment. Anyway, why shouldn't high school kids learn about those words? Oh, it's indoctrinating. Well. Yeah, I have my viewpoint, but this information is actual views. I mean, it's actual information. These are things that actually happen. These are codes, statutes. They exist and they still function to harm. So you just don't want kids to learn about the functions that cause harm to certain people. Just, you know, we already got black studies. You don't need, why do we even have black studies? Why shouldn't it just be all studies? Because your all studies only means from Europe or Greece on. That's why. And you do that on purpose. So I say hashtag in eugenicism. Hashtag things to which we are accustomed are more fiction than fact. More of our AP courses to suggest the disciplines allows the introduction of ideological, political, or cultural indoctrination to minds not yet fully adept, adept at critical and contextual thinking. The overabundance of AP credit amounts to a perversion of what should be an orderly, rational, educational process. 
That's how you say you feel. Broader problem is it with AP African American Studies choice. Wise policymakers and educators at all levels should restrict the AP Morgan's board to only core decide disciplines. What are your core disciplines, sir, ma'am? Oh, th those are the ones that count? Oh, okay. Those are the only ones that count? Your core disciplines? Who, who made the core discipline? All the core stuff I took in college was some fragernacle, European only. How are you going to say music and only do European music? I, I, anyway, psychology, only do psychology of Caucasian. Those are the only ones that count to you. Core disciplines should be restrict everything to your core disciplines, huh? Students will get the full benefits of college education by actually earning their credits, and yes, actual colleges. And that was the, this is the same thing. We can't improve anything. It, it, no, we should wait to improve. That was that Bush thing. That's why you all lost the freaking auto industry dominance. Everybody else had to make better, more efficient, stronger, quicker, faster, leaner cars. You decided let's just ruin everything. Ruin everything by just staying the same. No, we're not going to be able to compete. What happened? Had to bail them out. Why we have to bail them out instead of bailing the humans out? Bail out the cars, then bail out the people. Oh, that's the plan, yeah. Well, not the cars. The people that own the things that make the cars. <laughs> Those people got bailouts and got to do it right back again. Airplanes, airport, whatever. Who else got bailouts? Banks, what I'm saying, the banks? The people with the money <laughs> need more money. You got all our money, yo. Well, you need more because why? Because you faked a whole bunch of bull crap, fraud everywhere, this whole system, white collar crime is the biggest crime, trillions of dollars a year probably. Yet you make a big fuss and stink, you people. D um, distractors. Distractors and no, no, nothing to see here. Yes, there is something to see there. Terrible article. I hated it. I hated it. It took me so long to get through my little condemnation and discussion of it. But So anyway, on that note, how much time is left on this track? I think I'm like a couple of seconds. But if it's not, no, I got, I got two minutes. What, what one did I do yet in a while? That I have yet to do. I can't even remember my lyrics from a long time ago. Uh. Ross and tagging the government, now you want the Iago Vent of truly spent time in the jungle, say we not carry no tent, the identity and reason of systems and intent. It's for Lavros Como, talk with Jake that's what's with the weapon brave. Waves reflect up what was set in the legs, made it on days. But set the is the instrument, we're clear away the hate. Tell them soldier and bad man that we have no gun, and odd life on those we use to this weapon. Make we use we skill that make the evil rain done. Carry on, the righteous path, we turn the bad mind and gun. We are go step it in the street, the hateful mind. Get beat, greedy, them all feel the heat. Don't go to it, back to love cleat. Tuck them carps in the creek and burn them clan white sheep. We don't care if them bleed our rough neck troop, we get tree thumb. Separate them body from them feet. Victory complete and any the dream we next week, we no say. Up the full time, big we are both soon meet now. If any questions die, my rerun them repeat. We do the rough neck glide, do the rough neck glide. I make me move out to the left and back out to the right side. I rough neck glide, I do the rough neck glide. Slide out to the left and back out to the right side. Dub wise. Yeah, about a minute, man. Oh, is it? Yeah. I haven't done that in a minute. Jumblies. Jumblies. Roar, roar, roar. Roar, roar, roar. I should sample that. That's the one I need to sample, isn't it? That's what I do. That's what I do. Yeah. That's what I mean when you see that. Roar, roar, roar! I can't do it like a lion, though. Hold up. Roar, roar, roar! That's probably the best one so far. Because I would get all of that from my diaphragm. <laughs> all right. Roughneck mindset. Roughneck mind. Rant. Dog wise.